So I'm back at it again with another Fortnite Save the World in Death Weapon review. I'm going to be reviewing the Room Sweeper. And yes, guys, my supporter creator code is still Salvaje. If you guys want to rock that, I would highly, highly appreciate that. So I got to be honest, you know, I don't like reviewing base game weapons anymore because the power creep in Save the World is real. There's a lot of event weapons that have just surpassed the base game weapons. And the Room Sweeper is kind of a perfect example of this. At least for the first section of this review, I want to focus on what the room uh, sweeper is good at. Then we can talk about the cons. Okay, this shotgun is able to dish out some pretty decent damage overall, okay? Uh, you're going to be able to basically melt any basic husk, any uh, husky husk. You know, mist monsters, they're just going to go down really well, right? They're not going to go down instantly or very, very quickly. But the DPS that you can dish out with the shotgun, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty respectable damage. On top of all that, the Room Sweeper is also really good with abilities. Uh, one of my favorite combinations is, of course, Keep Out, Frag Grenade, and Room Sweeper. That basically just helps you melt targets extremely quickly. Shock Tower is really good. Kunai Storm is really good. Smoke Bomb is also really, really good with the Room Sweeper. Overall, I just really enjoyed my time sort of testing this weapon and, of course, also using it in the past as well. But one thing always kept, kept uh, you know, kept coming back into my mind, guys. Uh, this uh, shotgun is basically ideal only for the close ranges. At the medium ranges, it's not going to be doing a lot of damage. And uh, the truth is, the Stalwart Squire, the Helium Shotgun, great shotguns for medium range, can dish out some really respectable damage. Probably even higher damage than the Room Sweeper. Don't quote me on that, though, because I'm not a numbers guy, as you guys know. But the point is, uh, you always need to be very up close with the shotgun, which is why the shotgun's really, really fun with, with ninjas, uh, by the way. Uh, and on top of all that, this Room Sweeper just wastes ammo really, really quickly. I mean, I probably wasted, uh, man, I wasted a lot of nuts and bolts constantly crafting ammo for this Room Sweeper as I was testing it, okay? I mean, I crafted 1,200 shotgun shells for the mission that you guys are going to be seeing in the background for the gameplay. And by the time I was done with this uh, Rescue the Survivors mission, that's right, I pretty much ran out of ammo. Uh, so yeah, that honestly kind of sucks, and that's honestly one of the reasons why you shouldn't really level up this shotgun, specifically if you are a low-level player. If you're a low-level player, not only are you going to have to be, of course, constantly crafting shotgun shells for this weapon, but you're not going to be able to maximize the room sweeper either, right? Because this is one of those shotguns where you want as much extra help as possible. Unlike the Stalwart Squire, of course, which is a completely damaging nightmare, or the Helium Shotgun, which is, by the way, now part of the base game in Save the World. That's right, you can get the Helium Shotgun from the collection book, uh, you know, by just recruiting it. I mean, uh, researching it, right? Look, the point is, it's a really good shotgun, but that's it. It's just good. It's not top tier, right? It's not crazy stalwart squire 500,000 damage type of damage, you know? It's just like... You know, you don't even need flex tape to fix the damage. You just like put in like regular scotch tape on your Gucci, right? So when it comes down to whether you should spend your schematic XP on this, I don't really think so, right? On top of that, we also have the Tiger Jaw, which a lot of people say it's the superior shotgun to the Room Sweeper. I will be reviewing the Tiger Jaw soon. But look, despite all that, I'm going to give the Room Sweeper... Nah, I was gonna give it a 4 to 5 star, but I just can't. I literally just talked myself out of it. This uh, shotgun is a 3 out of 5 stars. I mean, with the right hero loadout and, uh, you know, the right heroes, you can definitely make this shotgun into a 4 out of 5 stars. But why use a 3 out of 5 star weapon when I can use just use a 5 out of 5 star weapon like the Helium Shotgun, for example? Or, of course, the best shotgun in Fortnite Save the World for everything overall the Star Wars Squire, which can basically melt Smashers from 0 to 100 real quick. Yo, Jimmy, get the flex tape. Oh, get some flex glue as well, because I just talked about the Star Wars Squire. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, in-depth review on the Room Sweeper. Um, let me know what weapons you guys want me to review on the base game in the comment section below, I guess, because no one ever like gives suggestions. I'm open to suggestions when it comes down to base game weapons. Let me know in the comment sections, and I will be seeing you guys on my next video.